So in order to install the Python packages and PyCharm, you can see that PyCharm has different tabs here, and one of those tabs is the terminal. So you should click on it in order to open the terminal. And suppose that I want to install NumPy, which is one of the most well-known packages in Python programming language. So in order to do so, I simply type pip, and remember that pip is the package manager in Python, which you use that in order to install, uninstall, and those other stuff in Python programming language. So I simply type pip, and a space, and I simply type install, and again a space, and I should specify the name of the package which I want to install, so I want to install NumPy, so I simply type pip install NumPy, and I press enter. And remember that you should have internet connection, so first of all, it is going to download that package, and then it is going to install that. So we can see the downloading process has finished, and now it is installing the NumPy package. So first of all, it has downloaded that, and now it is installing the package. So now we can see the package has been successfully installed, and this is the version of this NumPy which we have installed. And remember that you should wait for indexing processes because they're very important. So you can see that when it checks off, it means that the indexing process has been finished, so we can do whatever you want. So now let's check it out. So if I go to File and then Settings, and here let's close all of these, and if I go to the Project tab, the Project section I mean, and if I go to Python Interpreter, and let's wait for these packages to load. So we can see that we have installed NumPy correctly. And you can see NumPy is in this list as well because we have installed that. So let's close this. But now suppose that we want to uninstall this NumPy package. So in order to do so, I simply type pip uninstall because you want to uninstall the package. So I simply type pip uninstall NumPy and I press enter. And it asks me whether I'm sure or not, and I press Y, so I pass Y, it means yes, and I press enter. And you can see it has successfully uninstalled NumPy, and this is the version which has been uninstalled. So also, if you want to clear the cache of pip, you can do that as well. So you can simply type pip cache, and you can simply type purge, purge means delete. So if you press enter, you can see the cache of pip has been cleared. And also, if you want to install a specific version of a package, you can do that with this way. You can simply type pip install, and suppose that I want to install a package called scipy, and I want to install a specific version of this, scipy, of this scipy package. So in order to do so, I put to equal sign, so to equal sign, and then I should specify the version. So for example, suppose that I want to install the version 1.7.2, and I should press OK, and I should wait for the download process. So we can see it is downloading the SciPy package. So we can see the SciPy package has been downloaded, and now it is installing the NumPy package, because this SciPy package needs the NumPy package as a prerequisite. So it is installing the NumPy package as well, because it is the prerequisite for the SciPy package. And also remember that this ETA stands for estimated time of arrival, it means the remaining time. So we can see the NumPy package has been also downloaded, and now it is installing the NumPy and SciPy package. So we can see that it has downloaded the packages first, and now it's installing those packages. So that's it, you can see that it has successfully installed NumPy, this version, and also SciPy, this version. So let's minimize this, and remember that if you want to start coding, you should wait for indexing processes, and you can see also it shows this here, so when it is in the indexing mode, you cannot start coding. But we can go to other settings as well, so let's go to File, and then Settings, and here if I check the Python packages which we have installed, so we can see that here is NumPy, and here is the SciPy package which we have installed. And as you can see, this is the version of SciPy, which we have installed, but it says that the latest version, which is available for this SciPy package, is this version. But we have installed this version for the SciPy package. So let's close this. But if you have followed the steps which I have explained how to install Python and PyCharm in previous videos, there is another way in order to install the packages 
in Python. In order to do so, you should press the Windows and R key on your keyboard. And here you should simply type CMD, it stands for command, and you should press OK. And here is the command window. And here, for example, suppose that I want to install the matplotlib package. In order to do so, matplotlib is a package for plotting in Python. So in order to do so, I simply type pip install and matplotlib, that's it. And I press enter. And I should wait for the downloading process. So first of all, it is going to download the packages and then it is going to install them. So you can see it has downloaded the matplotlib, but it's downloading other packages because the matplotlib needs these packages as well. So it is downloading those packages as well. And now after downloading all those packages, it's installing those packages. So we can see it's installing six, pi parsing, and etc. So that said, you can see that it has successfully installed these packages with these specific versions. So let's close this. And again, remember that we should wait for indexing in the PyCharm. And until then, let's go to File and then Settings. And here we can see that we have installed different packages, matplotlib, 6, and etc., which we have installed just now. So let's close this. And also, in order to verify that we have installed those packages correctly, let's, for example, import the NumPy package. So I import uh, the NumPy package, and then I want to print uh, the NumPy version. So I simply type in print NumPy, that's underscore, underscore, version, underscore, underscore. That's it. And also, let's import the matplotlib as well. So I want to import the matplotlib package. And also I want to do the same thing. So I want to simply print the matplotlib version. So I simply type matplotlib dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore. That's it. And let's run this code. So let's run this code. So you can see here is the output, which you can verify that we have installed NumPy and matplotlib correctly. And also you can verify that we have installed those packages, those other packages correctly as well. But remember that JetBrains, the company of PyCharm, has also introduced another IDE, which is a very good IDE, which is called Dataspell, which you can also include text and markdowns as well. And it's a very good IDE to my opinion. And if you want to install that ID as well, you can watch this video, which is on the screen now.